you guys are not going to believe what I just found. This is, this is fantastic. Okay, so we have this shed in our backyard. We barely use it. It's just basically got junk in it. And through the spring, summer, fall, we noticed there was a squirrel. He was coming from the trees in the backyard, coming across the top of the shed and crawling in this little gap up by the doors here. And what we discovered was that he had an old window um, <laughs> window frame and he had built his, a nest in there. So he had it up in the rafters and he built piles of leaves and straw and whatever else he could find. He built himself a little nest and we said, you know what, leave the squirrel alone. We barely use the shed. There's nothing in there he can hurt. So Duke can have it. He's fine. Later on, we noticed the uh, the collection bag from our lawnmower, which we don't use, and we just have hung on the wall in there. Uh, he'd been storing nuts in there. So we were like, okay, that's fine. We don't use it. He's he's just building up his, his nut stores for the winter. It's all fine. Uh, today, <laughs> I went in the barn looking for my daughter's sled because I misplaced it and didn't know if maybe I'd put it in there. And I happened to look at the collection bag, and I said, those are some weird-looking nuts. So I got a little closer. And you're not going to believe this, you guys. So you come in the barn here, and you can see up here there's the window screen, and he's got his little nest built up there. And on the wall we have the collection bag. And... That is a metric ton of Tim Horton's Timbits, you guys. I don't even know if there are any nuts in there. <laughs> Look how high it is. So, um, yeah, apparently our squirrel has been traveling to the uh, little Tim Horns down the road from us and rummaging around in the dumpster and picking up the castaway timbits. So, yeah, you know your squirrels are Canadian when. 